Hey guys, what is up? OJ here, and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, and this is your first time coming here, then welcome. Make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell, so you won't miss a video. Anyway, if you've been wondering what the best weapon is in terms of damage, it's actually the... Gold Skull Mace. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you could tell from the thumbnail, but this weapon is the best out of all the other weapons strength-wise. This is because of its plus 4 strength and critical strike chance. Its crit chance has the highest out of all the other weapons with a critical strike chance of 3%. This combined with the Gold Skull Mace's plus 4 strength make for a brutal combo and is the reason why this is considered the best weapon in a game by many. Compared to other weapons like the Man Catcher, Dual Pong Sword, and even the NG Gold Sword, they're just not as good as the Gold Skull Mace. Speaking of that, I know the Man Catcher is a good weapon, especially since it has a 2% crit chance plus 5 strength, and plus 2 defense. When you think about it, you would think this weapon would be better than a Gold Skull Mace, right? Well, don't get me wrong, this is a really balanced weapon, but since its crit chance is lower than a Gold Skull Mace, the Gold Skull Mace automatically wins. Though, the Man Catcher is a good choice for those that like having a bit of defense. But, even when you start to progress through to the end of normal mode and into insane mode, that small defense boost will more than likely be useless. This is because the enemies will have increased the damage. Then the defense boost would merely save you one hit before you die. And even though its strength is higher than a gold skull mace, it's still worse compared to it. This is only because the gold skull mace has more chances to crit and has an overall better strength output, especially when you pair up the Animal Orb Snoot with it. The same rules apply for the Chainsaw, which is another top tier weapon. This weapon has the highest crit chance of all the weapons in the game, with a crit chance of 5%. It even provides plus 5 defense, although when compared to the Gold Skull Mace, it lacks strength. Even though the crit chance is higher, it's only by 1% and it loses out on a raw strength points. Still though, it is a decent weapon. Nevertheless, there are weapons in the game that are good for specific reasons. But if you ask me what weapon you should choose, or what is the best weapon, then it would be the Gold Skull Mace for sure. It's just, its damage per second is insane. Especially if you are taking on a swarm of enemies, it's just nice to see all those numbers and credit chances. Like seriously, it's something else that you have to see for yourself. Just to show you guys what I mean, I'm going to be doing a damage comparison with the Gold Skull Mace versus other top tier weapons against the Catfish Boss on Insane Mode. With this being said, I'm also going to be performing the catfish method, which I covered in another video, and I really recommend you go watch that. Link will be at the top right of your screen, which I think it will, but uh, yeah. But anyways, this is so you can see for yourselves the major difference in damage and efficiency. Okay, so here are the results. Keep in mind that these are not highly accurate, and what I mean by that is all runs didn't have the same number of hits. So like for one run I could have got more hits than another run, and the amount of crit chances greatly influenced the times as well, so it's good to keep that in mind. 
These times are meant to provide you with a general overview between the effectiveness of each weapon so you can see yourself the differences. I also used the Animal Orb Snoop for each and every run just to see if it's plus four strength would make a difference. Now, I know I said the Goat Skull Mace is the best weapon in terms of damage and stuff, but I only recommend using this weapon if you don't get hit a lot. Because since you're going for an all damage setup, there really isn't any defense involved. So it's important to be mindful when choosing a weapon. Regardless, choosing an animal orb that could complement your weaknesses would also be another good idea. For example, if you have the Gold Skull Mace, which is basically an all-out damage weapon, you could equip the Spiny Animal Orb, which, which will provide you with, I believe, plus three or plus four defense. So be sure to keep that in mind. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, then be sure to comment, like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. So you will never miss when I upload a new video. Anyway, that'll be it for me. Peace out.